Hello my lovelies, how are you? It's Layla here and today I'm finally filming in my new bedroom and uh, the room is nowhere near to be finished. I still got a lot of decorating to do and the setup is probably going to change but um, for now it works and today's tutorial is going to be on this highly anticipated and highly requested um, Kim Kardashian inspired high ponytail with a poof. Um, I actually also filmed a tutorial for this look um, right before I started filming this and um, it's also it was featured in my Kim Kardashian inspired curls video so I thought it was appropriate to uh, wear the same look for this tutorial again and um, so if you want to know how to create the makeup then check out the Everything Luxie channel and uh, I'll put the link right here and uh, basically yeah if you want to know how I created the uh, the hair tutorial then just keep watching. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is obviously your extensions. I'm using my Luxie hair extensions in 160 gram set but I'm only going to use um, three or four of the biggest wefts so the three clipped and four clipped wefts. Um, you're going to need a brush to comb through the hair. You're going to need a teasing brush to tease the front portion. Um, you're going to need an elastic band. Um, you're going to need some small elastics that kind of match your hair that you can get at a dollar store or whatever. Um, you're going to need some bobby pins and you're also going to need some hairspray as well. You're going to need a hair clip and a, a red tail comb. So the first thing you want to do is separate the front portion that's going to be um, the quiff and you want to just kind of go from the middle of your eyebrows all the way back like that to the crown of your head you want to separate that and we're just going to um, tie that and clip it up like that and basically what you want to do next is just brush your hair um, kind of upwards where you're going to be uh, tying it in a ponytail so you're going to brush it up and start gathering it with your hair I mean with your hands <laughs> like that and then just start smoothing it out with your fingers upwards and you want to basically um, tie it up at the highest point you can for that dramatic effect like that you're going to grab your elastic I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing like that okay and then you want to tie it three or four times at the crown of your head so what you want to do at this stage is um, depending on the length of your hair you're going to need to tie your hair in the middle with the small elastics so like somewhere right there you're gonna need it you're gonna need to tie it once and then almost at the end not all the way at the end but sort of like right there so the hair is not gonna be um, in the way and then what you want to do is grab your biggest weft that you're using from your extensions and for me it's gonna be my four clipped weft and before I start clipping it in I'm just gonna give it a nice brush to make sure it's out of the tangles it doesn't have any tangles I mean so uh, we're gonna start off at the kind of like not at the end but sort of middle to end and you're going to just clip the first clip make sure your clips are open you're going to clip it and then just start kind of going upwards okay go up and clip go underneath and clip like that so basically this is the process and you see it's starting to kind of create length already so I'm going to grab my next four clipped weft if you are using the um, 160 gram, if not your three clipped weft or whatever um, the longest weft you have from your extension. So I'm going to um, basically start off where I left off. So find the last clip you clipped and then just start right, you know, where you left off at that point right there. So I'm going to clip, then go in with the next clip, clip, go around. Okay, go around and then just clip the next one like that and then go around again and find a spot and clip the last clip. So instantly you can see how easy that is. So I'm going to grab the next weft and I'm going to grab the three clipped weft, give it a nice brush and basically I'm going, uh, I'm going to just apply that kind of around the base of the ponytail so bring it back and apply that wherever you can find a spot on the ponytail and around like that and go around again 
find a spot like that. Okay, and then just clip it. I'm going to do a three clipped weft again. And I'm going to just apply that right around the base of the ponytail. So I'm going to brush it out before I do that, like that. I'm going to turn around and I'm just going to go around of the base of the ponytail and clip this kind of around it. So there's one, there is the second, and then the third is going to go kind of around there. It's a little tricky at first, but you definitely get the hang of it the more you do it. So basically like this. So instantly you have this gorgeous long hair. And um, next thing you want to do is lightly brush the hair, uh, I mean the extensions, just to make sure that you know they're, they're not tangling and it's nice and smooth. And you definitely want to make sure that you're smoothing it out lightly and not pulling too hard because you don't want to you know, pull in the wefts and make them sort of come out. So now that we have the length, we want to kind of um, tease the front portion. So I'm just going to release this and brush it out. All right, and basically the look is going to be this teased um, front portion that's going to be pinned back. So I'm going to start separating the hair with my fingers like that and kind of put this away so it's out of the way. I'm going to give it a brush. I'm going to spray it with hairspray in the, um, at the roots. Grab my teasing comb and then just start teasing quite a lot because we want this to be dramatic because if you tease a little too much it's always easy to um, you know kind of smooth it out. Let it go. Now you want to separate it again with your fingers, like that. And we're gonna tease this again. So I'm gonna brush it out first to make sure there's no tangles, like that. I'm going to spray the roots, grab my teasing comb, and then just start teasing at the roots. Let it go. And now I'm gonna separate one more time before I get to the front. So basically like three or four um, sections of teasing, like that. Just put it to the side so it's out of the way. Brush it, spray the roots, and then just tease. And now we have the last portion, so I'm just going to brush it out, like that. And spray the roots and just tease. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Maybe I should go back a little. Okay. I think that's probably enough. All right, so when you're done, it's gonna look like this. So what you wanna do now is smooth it out. And to do that, you're just gonna kind of spread out the hair a little bit towards the back and just start smoothing it out with your brush really lightly over, over the teasing, like that. And um, now basically what you want to do is, um, you're gonna push it forward and then you're going to uh, apply some bobby pins. And before, I mean after that, to make sure that there's no bumps, we're gonna smooth it out and we're also going to be um, fixing it up with the rat tail comb, so don't worry if you start seeing any bumps. So um, the first thing you want to do is grab your bobby pin, smooth it out with your fingers, push it forward and just and just stick a bobby pin right there, like that. You're going to do one from the other side, smooth it out with your fingers, like that. Okay, and just stick a bobby pin right there. You're kind of like pushing it forward and putting the bobby pin in. All right, so it looks like this. I'm gonna do one in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna like 
push it down and push it forward and then stick a bobby pin right there and I can do one more just to have it smooth and secure okay so just grab a bobby pin this one doesn't want to open up all right and then just stick it right in okay and um, now what you want to do is kind of smooth out these hairs that are sticking out and kind of blend them into your ponytail okay and to smooth out these hair that are sticking out basically what I did is I just kind of fix them up with my fingers and um, if you need to put a bobby pin anywhere I put one right here and it's not noticeable because it's right up top and it's nice and smooth and um, the last step I always do is just lightly brush the hair with the extensions just to make sure that it's nice and blended and the very last step I always do is because I have um, these kind of poofy hairs in the back um, I just gather them with my fingers and um, I just put a bobby pin right in so that's it after you guys smooth out the hair and kind of go around and make sure that no one, nothing is sticking out and everything is in place uh, you're pretty much finished and um, I think this look is beautiful it's um, dramatic it's perfect for uh, any kind of outing any sort of um, you know party in the holiday season parties are coming up so weddings and things like that you can do um, this look and I hope you found this tutorial helpful I know it can be a little tricky but um, I hope that um, you try it out and if you get frustrated at first don't get discouraged it takes a little bit of getting used to so um, definitely you know try it out a few times and I'm sure you'll get it so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will do my best to um, answer them and so um, thank you and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial ciao